Hey everybody, Tim Timmons here with 10,000 Minutes, and here's the question for the week. How do you and I disagree about things, but actually still live in unity, still love one another well? Okay, so we know the answer is going to be Jesus, but how did Jesus unify all these different people that believed all these different things, and yet they still loved one another really well? Think of all the people that Jesus had meals with. Jesus ate with the businessmen. Jesus ate with the Pharisees, the highest of the religious society, and he also ate with the lowest of religious society. He ate with the ladies of the night. He ate with all these different people, and yet somehow they still found unity in the person of Jesus, the ways of Jesus, the invitations of Jesus, inviting them out of their own political kingdoms to seek first his kingdom. You guys, I'm just saying, all of us are disagreeing about so many things right now, and yet the thing that we could actually agree the most on is probably the greatest thing in the whole world. It's the awareness and the availability of the kingdom of God in the midst of all these things. They still, as a group, found unity in walking with each other as they walked with Jesus. Ultimately, Jesus was the one who they gave their allegiance to, their loyalty to, and said, you are king no matter what. What I'm learning and watching from Jesus's example is that there's room at the table for all of us. Yes, I might actually strongly disagree with you politically or over many of the other issues of the day. But before you and I start going out and demonizing each other and actually calling each other names, let's remember who we actually are first and foremost. I disagree with many of you probably because it doesn't fit into my understanding. Let's just slow down and take a cue from Jesus. There's room at the table for all of us. Paul says in Philippians 2, don't be selfish. Don't try to impress everybody. Be humble, thinking of others before yourself. Don't look out just for your own interests, but take interest in others. Start asking other people questions. Even in the midst of things that you disagree with, we can still agree on, hey, how's your heart in this? Where are you fearful in this? Where do you see Jesus in the midst of this? As people and citizens of the kingdom of God, we have way more in common than we do with our political parties. So this week, here's our 10,000 minute practice. Would you recite or repeat this verse with me all week long? Literally write it on a piece of paper, put it in the dashboard of your car, put it on your mirror, put it somewhere. You've probably heard this verse a million times, but can we take it out of our like Bible memory thing and put it into practice this week? Proverbs 3, 5, and 6. Trust in the Lord with all of your heart. And Tim, don't lean on your own understanding this week, the way that you see the world and everything around it. And in all of your ways, acknowledge Jesus this week. That's just the practice. Would we just stop, slow down, and acknowledge his presence in every moment, in every disagreement? Do you need to be right this week, or can we represent the heart of Jesus and unify together, saying, I disagree with you, but I still love you? Thanks, you guys, for watching this. Would you remember to subscribe to this new channel? Would you like this because it's a new channel? And please comment below and share this with other people because we'd love to hear what you guys are learning as well in the midst of this. And as always, if you want to get the two free text messages below, just check out in the whatever that's called down there and you can see how to get text messages and go to 10,000minutes.com. Okay, bye.